Hello everyone, I'm Udara Sena Ratna, a third year medical student and I'm an advanced level biology tutor. This video is the first video of a two-part video series on photosynthesis, which is one of the important concepts in the second lesson of biology, chemical and cellular basis of life. At the end of the video, I'll be discussing some past paper questions and I'll let you know how to get registered for the 2022 Advanced Level Group Class and 2021 Advanced Level Speed Revision Plus Paper Class I'll be conducting from January onwards. So stay tuned. The first thing you need to know about photosynthesis is the definition. What photosynthesis is? It is the metabolic process by which light energy is trapped and converted into chemical energy. This chemical energy is stored in carbohydrates, proteins, fats and oils. Now we'll take a look at the two stages of photosynthesis. They are light reaction and Calvin cycle. So these two stages are integrated. They are connected one to the other. In eukaryotic photosynthetic cells, the site of photosynthesis is the chloroplast. Now, eukaryotic means we know organisms which have an organized nucleus. In eukaryotes, there are membrane-bound organelles. Membrane-bound means which are surrounded by membranes, the organelles which are surrounded by membranes. One of those membrane-bound organelles are chloroplast. So this is a chloroplast. In the chloroplast, the light reaction takes place in a specific place and the Calvin cycle occurs in another place. Where does light reaction take place? It occurs in the thylakoid membranes in the chloroplast. The thylakoid membranes are stacked one on top of the other and they have formed a unit called grana. The plural form, form is grana and the singular form we call it grana. So one of these units we call grana. That is where the light de dependent reaction occurs. And the Calvin cycle occurs in the stroma of the chloroplast. This is the stroma. It is a gel like structure which has all the enzymes needed for the Calvin cycle. Now we'll see how the light reaction is linked to the Calvin cycle. So in the light reaction what happens is the light energy is trapped and it is converted into two energy containing compounds. These two energy containing compounds are one ATP, the other one we call NADPH. So these two compounds are formed in the light reaction and in the Calvin cycle they are used to convert carbon dioxide into carbohydrates. That's how this light reaction is linked to the Calvin cycle. Now we'll take a look at how the light reaction occurs. As I mentioned earlier, light reaction occurs in the thylakoid membranes of the chloroplast. These thylakoid membranes are fluid filled sacs which are stacked together to form grana. On the thylakoid membranes, photosynthetic pigments and electron acceptors can be found. What are these photosynthetic pigments? They are the molecules which are capable of absorbing visible light. Now there are two types of photosynthetic pigments that can be found on the thylakoid membranes. They are chlorophylls and carotenoids. In the chlorophyll category, there are two types, mainly chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B. In car carotenoids, there are carotenes and xanthophylls. So these photosynthetic pigments are organized into a complex on the thylakoid membrane. We call them the photosystem. So in a photosystem, what are the substances that we can find? There are chlorophyll A molecules, chlorophyll B molecules and carotenoids. Those are, those are pho photosynthetic pigments. Other than that, there are electron acceptors. So there are two types of photosystems. First one, photosystem 1 
and next is photo system 2 ps1 means photo system 1 ps2 means photo system 2 in the photo system this part we call light harvesting complex and this pigment in the center we call it the reaction center complex in the reaction center complex we have a main chlorophyll a molecule in the ps1 for system 1 that molecule is called p700 why because it absorbs light at wavelength 700 nanometers most effectively that's why we call the chlorophyll A molecule in the reaction center of PS1 as P700. In the PS2, for system 2, the reaction center chlorophyll A molecule is P680. It is because it absorbs visible light at the wavelength 680 nanometers most effectively. So though that's about the four systems that we can find on the thylakoid membranes. Now we'll take a look at how the light reaction occurs in these photosystems. First, light energy is absorbed by PS2. That means the photosystem 2. So light energy is absorbed here and they are transferred to the photosynthetic pigments, chlorophyll molecules. And finally, they go to the reaction center chlorophyll A molecule P680 in the PS2. Then this P680 molecule gets excited due to the absorption of light energy. Due to the excitation that occurs in P680, it releases one electron. That electron goes to a higher energy state. Due to the release of the electron, this force system becomes positive because of the removal of one negative electron. Then, this released electron is accepted by the primary electron acceptor of PS2. Here is that primary electron acceptor. At the same time, hydrolysis, that means breakdown of water occurs in the photosystem too. It is an enzyme catalyzed reaction and water is split into oxygen, hydrogen ions and an electron. Now this electron, what happens is, it goes to PS2 and neutralizes the previously positive PS2. Due to the addition of these electrons, this positive charge is removed and photosystem 2 becomes neutralized. Now, up to this level, we studied how the electron is transported to the primary acceptor. What happens at the same time is, Due to the absorption of light energy from PS1, for system 1, the light energy it absorbs, it goes to the reaction center chlorophyll A molecule, P700, and that molecule gets excited. Again, it releases one electron to the primary electron acceptor of PS1. Again, the PS2, PS2 complex, PS1 complex becomes positive due to the release of this electron. Then what happens is, the electrons released by photosystem 2, they transport in an electron transport chain and comes to photosystem 1. Due to the addition of these electrons, the positive charge of photosystem 1 gets neutralized. Now here you can see, electrons are transported from a higher energy level to the lower energy level. When an electron is transported through a higher energy level to a lower energy level, energy is released. And from that energy, ATP is formed by the phosphorylation of ADP. That means ADP gets an inorganic phosphate and it turns to ATP. This process is called phosphorylation that means addition of a phosphate group and this phosphorylation occurs due to sunlight due to the absorption of light from the photosystems therefore we call this type of phosphorylation photophosphorylation photo means light then the 
electron transport chain that occurred from primary electron except of PS2 to PS1, we can see that it is linear. It occurred straight. We call it linear electron transport chain. And now we'll take a look at this electron here. The excited electron that was accepted by primary acceptor of PS1. It goes in a linear electron transport chain and what happens to that electron is it goes to NADP plus that electron NH plus ion it turns into NADPH NADPH this reaction is catalyzed by NADP reductase enzyme and this we call also the linear electron chain there's another type of electron transport called cyclic electron transport chain. What happens there is the excited electrons which were released by PS1 instead of going to NADP, they can transport to the primary acceptor of PS2. So it's a cycle. It goes like this and again comes down to PS1. We call that cyclic electron flow. And there we can see ATP is formed and NADPH is formed only in linear electron flow. Now we'll take a look at how the Calvin cycle occurs. As I mentioned previously, Calvin cycle takes place in the stroma of the chloroplast. What happens in the Calvin cycle is carbon dioxide is reduced into carbohydrates. Carbon dioxide is turned into C6 sugar or else carbohydrates. For this process, it is an anabolic process. That means from a simple molecule, a complex compound is formed. Simple molecule is carbon dioxide, complex compound is C6 sugar or glucose or carbohydrates. For anabolic reactions, we know energy is required. So the energy required for this process is supplied by the ATP and NADPH that was produced in the light reaction. This is called Calvin cycle because it was discovered by the scientist Calvin. And now we'll take a look at the main steps of the Calvin cycle. There are three main steps as you can see here. First one is carboxylation. Next is reduction and the final step is regeneration of the carbon dioxide acceptor. Carboxylation. What is the meaning of carboxylation? Carboxylation means carbon dioxide addition. Adding of carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide acceptor that is used in Calvin cycle is called RUPP. Ribulose bisphosphate. Carbon dioxide is accepted or absorbed by RUBP, ribulose bisphosphate. This reaction is catalyzed by an enzyme called Rubiscor. Another name is RUBP carboxylase oxygenase. That's the enzyme that catalyzes the carboxylation reaction. Why it is called RUBP carboxylase or carboxylase oxygenase is because it can function as a carboxylase enzyme. That means an enzyme which catalyzes a carboxylation reaction. Or it can function as an enzyme that catalyzes an oxygenation reaction, addition of oxygen. So according to the level of carbon dioxide, According to the level of oxygen that is present in the leaf at the moment, this enzyme can function as oxygenase or a carboxylase. Addition of carbon dioxide into RUBP catalyzed by Rubisco. It produces a C6 compound which is unstable. This unstable product 
gets broken down into two molecules of 3-phosphoglycerate, 3-PGA. This is the first stable product of photosynthesis as it only has three carbon molecules we call it a C3 product. So the plants which produce 3-phosphoglycerate as the first table product in photosynthesis are called C3 plants. This is the process of carboxylation. The second step of the Calvin cycle is the reduction phase. Here, 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate is reduced into glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate. 1,3-bisphosphoglycerate this is the name of the compound. It gets reduced into glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate or G3P. This is glyceraldehyde phosphate for this reduction reaction the energy is provided by the ATP and NADPH that was produced in the light reaction energy supplied by ATP and NADPH both which was produced in the light reaction and this G3P or glyceraldehyde 3-phosphate is the compound that acts as a precursor to produce C6 sugar or glucose. That's the end product of photosynthesis. So this is the step of reduction in the Calvin cycle. The next step is the regeneration of carbon dioxide acceptor. We know in C3 plants, the carbon dioxide acceptor is RUBP, ribulose bisphosphate. So this RUBP is regenerated. We know in the carboxylation reaction it was used. RUBP was added with carbon dioxide and it turned into an unstable C6 compound which was broken down into two molecules of 3PGA, 3-phosphoglycerin. So, the used RUBP needs to be regenerated. It is done by a series of complex reactions and the energy needed for those reactions are given from the ATP, the rest of the ATP that was produced in the light reaction. So far, we have gone through the whole process of photosynthesis, mainly the two stages light reaction and the Calvin cycle. In the next video, we will study the process of photorespiration and the mechanism that was evolved in the plants to avoid photorespiration which is the C4 pathway. If you are one of the students of the 2022 advanced level batch and interested in joining my group class, what you can do is you can send a WhatsApp message to this number and you can get registered. If you are one of the students who are sitting for the A-level exam in the 2021 year and would like to join the speed revision class, the paper class, you can also send a message, a WhatsApp message to this number and get yourself registered. Hope to see you all in the next video. Thank you very much for watching.